What's up guys? Welcome back to another tutorial. Today we are going to talk about less CSS. And also I'll take you through the basic introduction and how to install less CSS. So basically if less is new to you, less is basically a CSS preprocessor that will extend the capabilities of CSS. It has dynamic behaviors like variables, mixins, operations, functions, and it makes CSS more maintainable, themable, reusable, and mostly it's used in theme development. So why do you think people use less? As already mentioned, it makes CSS so easy to maintain. It has gotten operations, functions, and it will be so easy to maintain a robust piece of code when you use less. So for its maintainability, reusability, readability, and efficiency, as well as compatibility, this is why most people choose less CSS. Now, let me take you through the installation of less CSS. So first way is you can install it using Node.js or you can use it as client side with a link. So to install it using Node.js, you need to be sure that you have NPM installed or Node.js installed. Please, I have a video on how to install Node.js. So I'll just open my command. So from here, I can check the Node version by just typing Node version. And then you can see I have Node version 20 installed on my PC. So after that, I'll just install less globally. So I'll just do npm install global. The G stands for global. So I'll just copy this command. So let me just move to. So I'll put npm install global less and press enter. So now it's done installing. There's also what we call less compiler. So we need to also install less compiler. So to install the compiler, I'll just I'll run npm install dash g, which stands for global, and then less watch dash compiler. Be careful of spelling. Press enter. So after that, I'm going to make a directory, and then I'll call it less projects, and then I'll change directory to less projects. Now I'll open this in VS Code. And here is our project in VS Code. So let me expand the screen. So now let me switch and use the VS Code terminal instead. So we have everything in one place. So here I'll create a new file and I'll call it styles.less. And then I'll write some simple CSS. Let's just put color, maybe red. And then after that, we are going to run less C, which stands for compiler. And then the file name, which is styles.c.less rather. So if you get such an error, we are going to open our PowerShell. If you're using Windows, we are going to run it as an administrator. Click on yes, and then set execution policy, remote signed, press enter. And then choose yes, which is Y, press enter. So after that, we are going to run again. Now you can see it is running our code. So I'll remove that clear, that was just an error. So let me run it again. You can see it executes our less as color red. That means less has been successfully installed. Now, we need to organize our file so that it automatically compiles our less codes into CSS. So let me clear my terminal. So to do that, I'll create a new folder and I'll call it less. And then I'll move our styles.less into the mm. less folder and then click on move. Now we have a less folder. So after that, we are going to do less dash dash watch dash compiler so we say less which is the folder here and contains styles.css and then we want it compiled in css which is going to be generated press enter so you can see it has generated a folder called css and inside it it has created styles.css so when you go to styles.css you can see our css has been compiled here which is color Red and it's watching file changes. When I go to styles.less, I have to make all my changes in the styles.less file. So let me say font font family and then let me go with that. You can see it will automatically compile. And then when I go to CSS, you can see that the font family is being reflected there. So when I do font color and I call it maybe blue. It's being automatically compiled into the CSS file. You can see it automatically goes into the CSS file. Then when I do font weight, 700. So you can see there's an error here. I think it just wants to be color. Okay, not font color. And then we can change this to background color. The error is gone. And then the warning is gone. 
and then you go back you see all this is how it will show in css now let me tell you how how less works so i'm gonna go all the way down and i'll create a variable let me call it background color for example if you want all the background to to be the same so i'll create a variable called background and then i'll give it a color blue and then i'll create a uh, a variable called primary color for example and then i'll give it a gray and then maybe secondary color these are variables so and then i'll give it for example green now when you're writing your css here so when i say background color okay let's remove this background variable let's just have primary color and secondary color which is that so when i do background color i can just call our variable which is at and then choose the primary color and then same applies here to color and then i'll just use the variable instead and pick secondary color so looking at this let me just minimize this a little bit looking at this you can see that we are able to use the variables here in our css and then when i go to styles.css this is how it shows it will just show as the normal css background color because it's been compiled in that way so for example let's let's create a html file so I'm just going to create a simple HTML file here. Sorry. So let me call it index.html. And then I'll create HTML structure by pressing shift exclamation and press enter. And then after this, I'll just put to link. And when I'm linking, I'm going to link the styles.css. So I'll link styles.css. And then um, I'll put here some font, which is h1 welcome to less css so let me open with live server and i show you and this is what less has done you can see that so i can go back and change the secondary color to something lighter and then the primary color to maybe something darker you can choose whatever color you want and then you can see that is how less works so this is basically how to install less and how to get in started with less. So be sure you follow along in the previous, in the next videos, I'm going to explain the variables, functions, and all that, and how you can, and at the end of it all, we shall build a fully functional landing page using less CSS. So stick around and see you in the next video.